Namaste, I'm Julie. Welcome to Your Self Yoga for Menopause. Big, big welcome if it's your first time here and if you've been before, of course, a big welcome back. So in today's video, we are doing 10 minute hip stretches for menopause hip pain. It's a very, very common symptom in menopause and these 10 minute stretches will um, ease the discomfort. They will loosen the tightness around the hip flexor and the hip joint. And I'm gonna be using a yoga strap to get started. And if you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a soft belt from a dressing robe, dressing gown. Um, so meet me on the mat and let's get started. So lying on the mat with the legs outstretched, take your strap or soft belt, raise the right leg and wrap it around the foot. And you want to bring the leg upright. Now if already these hamstrings, the backs of the thighs are tight, bend the leg a little bit, bend the knee slightly. Okay, now this, I want you to point the heel to the ceiling and this might be enough for you. If we want to go a little bit further, take an inhale and on the exhale, start to move that leg towards you and you'll feel an increased stretch. When it tightens, try not to resist it. Try to breathe into it and soften it. One more inhale. Exhaling, moving again slightly towards you and you'll feel a more intense stretch. Last one, inhale. Exhaling and reaching a little bit further. And now take the leg back to an upright position. Hold on to the strap or belt with the right hand and place your left hand on the left hip. We're going to open out the right leg, but we want to keep that left hip stable. So very, very slowly opening out that right leg as far as you can go. You may be here, that's okay, rest on the elbow, or you may be able to take it all the way down. And you'll feel that stretch on the adductors, on the insides of the groin. And all these areas around the hip can impinge on our mobility and flexibility. And then slowly bringing that leg all the way back up, switch hands with the strap, take the leg all the way across to the left, and now you're going to get an intense stretch on the outside of the right thigh. Again, really tight uh, abductors here can impinge our flexibility. And then bring the leg back up to center. Bend the knee so you can release the strap. Take that leg down and feel the magic. The right leg is longer than the left leg because you've given it a good stretch. So far, so good. Now bend the left leg, hook the strap around the left foot. And again, pushing the heel up towards the ceiling. Take a deep inhale, bend the knee if you need to. And then on the exhale, slowly move that leg towards you. Notice which leg seems freer than the other. It's quite common to have different sides. One more inhale. Exhale, moving slowly towards you. Last one, deep inhale exhaling and then slowly taking that leg back up switch hands this time right hand on that uh, right thigh take that left leg out as far as you can and remember it doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way down feel that stretch on the inside of the groin and thigh and slowly take it back up, switch hands with the strap, take it all the way across to the right, and you'll feel that stretch on the outside of the left thigh. And then slowly take him back up, release the strap, bring both knees to your chest, wrap your arms around them, give yourself a big hug, maybe rock from side to side, massage the lower back, and then hooking the hands behind the thighs. So what you should do a gentle rock, bring yourself up to seated. And cross the legs, rolling over on the hands. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. Tabletop is where we're on our knees and hands and our knees are directly underneath our hips and our shoulders are directly above our hands. From here, we're gonna do some hip circles, okay? 
So we're going to move clockwise first, past the wrists, a big exaggerated circle pushing back towards the heels and all the way around, really getting some movement into that hip joint. And it's a lovely way to wake up the hips. So two circles to the right and then in the opposite direction. Also good for the wrists as well, strengthening the wrists. And really pushing back deep into that hip joint when you push back and then back to center. Now, see if you can bring the right foot between the hand. Slide that left knee back a little bit and then you're going to come up onto that heel. And when you come up onto the heel, you're stretching out all that leg, which should be a little bit easier because we've done our uh, stretches with the strap. But then you're going to lunge forward. And on this lunge, see if you can bring your hands onto your knee, feel that stretch pointing here onto the left hip flexor at the front. These are what gets super tight when we do lots of sitting. And then lunging back once more, See if you can lower the head down towards that stretch leg and lunging forwards, bringing yourself up, resting on that right knee. You're feeling that stretch on the left hip flex and the hip flexors get super, super tight. And then bringing yourself back again onto the heel, lowering down and then lunging forwards like so. Left hand down onto the mat, walk that right foot out to the outer edge of the mat and we're going to open this right hip joint. So gently push that knee away, rolling onto the right side of the foot. You can drop the head back a little and really feel that stretch deep in the groin. Hands back onto the mat, take that knee back, back into tabletop. And now on the left side, step it through, slide the right knee back a little bit, and then walk the hands back, come up onto the heel of that left leg, and then inhale, exhaling, lowering, and then walking forwards, lunging, coming up onto that knee, and back we go and then lunging forwards, really stretching the right hip flexor and then right hand down, walk that left foot out to the outer edge of the mat and when you're ready, push that knee out, roll onto the left side of the foot, drop the head back, opening out the left hip joint and then hands down, coming back into our tabletop Cross the legs over, rolling back. We're going to go back where we started on our back for some more hip stretches. Left leg up in the air, bring the right foot, bend the leg, right foot on top of the left knee. Scoop the hands behind the left thigh and you're going to start to feel an incredible stretch on the outside of this right thigh. We're going to take an inhale and then bring that left thigh towards you. So you're in charge of the discomfort here, if you like. Okay, the more you bring it towards you, the more you'll get the deeper stretch here. But try to relax it, breathe into it. One more, inhale, exhale, moving towards you. And then releasing down, right leg goes up in the air this time, left foot, bend the leg on top of the right knee, scoop behind the right thigh, inhale, exhale, moving towards you, one more, inhale, exhaling, moving towards you and then gently release, place both feet down on the mat and just move them to the side and then to the other. Windshield wiper, get a little bit of movement back into the joint. And then when you're ready, bring both legs in the air. Now, if you can't reach up and pull down, grab hold of the shins, works just as well, or even the ankles. I'm going for the outsides of the feet and I'm think about pushing down the knees towards underneath the armpits. But all the time you're keeping your head, 
shoulders and spine, the full length of the spine on the mat. This means you've got balance, you can rock, but really feel that stretch deep into the hip groin. And this is our happy baby. A lovely way to end our stretches. Rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, knees to chest, give yourself a big, big hug. You deserve it, you've done your stretches. And then hands underneath the thighs, rock yourself up and there we go. I hope you enjoyed this short 10 minute stretches for hips. If you like this video, please like, give us a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and then you'll be notified when the next one comes along. Thank you for watching. Namaste.